All right. We got everybody to sit down. Anybody want to have a seat? Let's record it. And we're all set. We're going. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Testing, testing. <clears throat> All right. All right, good afternoon. We're gathered today to pay our last respects for Shelly Simon. Sorabas Chaim. There's a special blessing that is recited when you come to a cemetery, and we have with us Yaakov Berger, the famous Yaakov Berger, who is going to recite it hopefully in Hebrew. Can't look in English, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who fashioned you with justice, nourished and sustained you with justice, took your lives with justice, and knows the sum total of you all in justice. And when we restore and resuscitate you in justice, blessed are you, Lord, who, is, who revives the dead. You are eternally mighty, Lord, the reviver of dead are you. Abundantly to save, God sustains the living with kindness, revives the dead with abundance of compassion, sports the fallen, heals the sick, releases the confined, and maintains faith for those that sleep in the earth. Who is like you, master of mighty deeds, and who is comparable to you, the ruler who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout, and you are trustworthy to revive the dead. Uh, so before we start, uh, if there's, uh, the purpose of a funeral is not just to... Uh, take our loved one and bring them to rest is also for people to know what kind of person Shelley was who we lost and who and what we can do in her memory what we could keep how we keep our memory or her memory alive what we could do to emulate her but we have many people that came today to volunteer their time to make sure that we have a minion so we'll do the service and the burial first and then afterwards It'll give an opportunity for those who have to go back to work, those who are still working, who want to go back to work, and then we'll have a, t a chance to speak, and maybe some of the those who have come today would like to share some thoughts as well. So the, first, the beginning of the this, this service will take just a couple minutes. We'll do the burial with the Kaddish, and then we'll have the eulogy. We say three psalms. Psalm number one, Ashri Yish HaShaloi Holak Vatsas HaShoyim Adher Chatoim Lo Yomad Psalm <laughs> A song of David, Lord, who may sojourn in your tent? Who may dwell in your holy mountains? One who walks in purity, does what is righteous, and speaks the truth from his heart, who has no slander on the tongue, nor has done harm to a fellow, nor cast disgrace towards a neighbor in whose eyes a contemptible person is repulsive, but who honors those who are in awe of the Lord, who swears truthfully even to personal hurt and never retracts, who does not lend money and interest nor takes a bribe against the innocent, one who does these things shall never falter. In Psalm 23. Mizma le David, I know you're really exorb in as Deshi Yavitania, my Minuchas in Aleni, Napshi Yishavi and Heni Magritatic Manshamoi, Gam Kiel of the gates of Mavis Loy Yeroki at Toymodi, Shiftahom, Shantaha Hemo Yakmuni, Tarak upon a Shulha Negate, Soderoi, Shantabasham Reshi Kaiser of Oya. A song of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. God causes me to lie down in lush pastures. God leads me beside tranquil waters. 
God restores my soul and guides me in the righteous path for God's name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your scepter and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in full view of my adversaries. You have anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. May only goodness and kindness pursue me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for length of days. And we say a couple verses from the last chapter in the book of Proverbs, known as Asha Schael, a woman of valor. And at this point, we would like to lower the. Is anyone working over here? No. Uh, we're going to lower the casket. A young man. And uh, we'll do the burial. Then Arkadish, and then we can smooth it. different. The only time you see a Jew with a shovel is either groundbreaking or a cemetery. Everything else is hired out. <laughs> All right, what have I got?
Gans, who doesn't even know it, but he's going to be saying to kill Mother Rachamim. I'm <laughs> Sore bas reb chayim shahol chol elomo Ba'avur eshinot v'tzdoko ba'daskor as nishmoso Began eiden tehei menuchoso Lochein balorachamim Yastirei v'sei v'knofov V'yo elomim V'yitroi v'yitroi rachayim Es nishmoso, adoi no yu nachaloso, vesonu achal mishkovo besholoim, veno emar, amein. Amein, that was good. God, full of compassion, who dwells on high, grant proper repose under sheltering wings on your presence, and the lofty levels of the holy and the pure, who shine like the brightness of the firmament. Onto the soul of Sarah, the daughter of Chaim and Shana Sarah, who has gone to her world and whose memory we pray. May her repose be in paradise. May the master of compassion bring her under the cover of God's wing and bind her soul in the bond of life. May the Lord be her heritage. May she repose on a resting place in peace. And let us all respond. Amen. 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 This completes the service. If anyone did not put on trillin, Rabbi Gans has a pair of trillin. Anyone wants to give to Dr. AJ Kushner Retirement Fund.